Damo, you can't put it on Paro that I said ODM Slim has some shit going overseas till I ain't know about it. And you saying I'll let you know after my DP I didn't trust Killer on Tiny Whorehead FIP. On all my dead crips I love. I ain't never said that. You cussed her ass, old ass Damo. Quit playing games, kid. Y'all play with this internet shit like it's clout. This shit is real. My lifestyle is real. Just know the fuck I am is real. You think it's oh, comedy and games? That's what the fuck it ain't. So, like I said, kid, all that lying you did on no jumper, nigga. All that custard shit you did on no jumper, nigga. You don't know. Chipper. Granddaddy Wack 100 back at it again, man. This time he ain't on his favorite place to be, Clubhouse. He on No Jumper, man. And he's supposed to be on there talking about Crip Mac. And he says something about ODM Slim has something going on overseas. And how uh, uh, Crip Mac told Wack 100 that he ain't trust ODM Slim after the DP and shit. And, you know, Wack 1, I mean, Crip, Crip Mac took to his YouTube channel to diss Wack 100, man. And he told, and he told him this time. He said he ready for him to do pull up and get the fade on Fifty Fifth Street. Fifty Fifth Street. He don't want to do no celebrity boxing match. He want to go to Fifty Fifth Street and throw them bitches. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, Wack One Hundred man. I think he just. I think he. I think Wack One Hundred is the six nine of managers. Whatever he's supposed to be, artist, developer, managers. Wack One Hundred is the six nine. That's why he cool with six nine. Cause he just like him. He looking himself in the mirror. The way Wack 100 carry himself, his internet presence, and everything he does, bro. He says all this crazy outlandish shit to ruffle feathers, get people mad for people could talk about him, and he could promote his artists, bro. It ain't nothing but a little strategic marketing strategy to keep himself relevant and keep his artists relevant. You know what I'm saying? But I see right through it, Wack 100. I see what you're doing, my nigga. You wouldn't get to me if I was you. I wouldn't even mention your ball here, Mr. Clean looking ass, boy. But yeah, man. Kurt Max say he ready to catch that fade with you, man. But you you always talking that boxing. And I see the few little uh, times you're supposed to knock people out on YouTube, man. So I'm sure you got them bitches too. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to go ahead, man. You you a real nigga from California. He a real nigga member from California. And y'all supposed to be uh, quote unquote ops. So you go ahead, pull up over there, man. Make sure everybody good. Y'all get that. Catch that fade in the alley, man. You know what I'm saying? Kurt Mac ready. You ain't talking about fighting them, though. You just keep spreading rumors on them. You know what I'm saying? But if Crip Mac and ODM Slim, if they real homies, you know what I'm saying, hopefully they can hash out whatever's going on. You know what I'm saying? Well, they, they seem like they real homies. You know what I'm saying? They be hanging together. He, he was in charge of his YouTube channel when he was in jail. So hopefully they can, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they got, hopefully it ain't spark up no uh, animosity on the low, you know what I'm saying? Because when rumors get spread by other people, it, it, it certain times it can hurt a relationship, a friendship, you know what I'm saying? It can hurt it, you know what I'm saying, on the low, you know what I'm saying? People act like they ain't feeling no type of way, but really, when, when they really is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I'm gonna have the footage at the beginning of the video, y'all gonna see it before y'all see me hear me say this anyway, but yeah, man, it's the kid KO. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah, yeah.